Well, hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to be making some circlet tags as well as the circlet cards from Art Impressions. For I think a couple years, Art Impressions has made these circlet sets, and they have all different themes to them. They do them all year long, but these are two of the Christmassy ones. They have three stamps in them, and you make a card that has three panels in it, so it's like a brochure type thing. You stamp one of these on each one, and the front two are die cut, so you can see through a little window. But before I get to that, I want to reintroduce the Misty. I've gotten so many questions from people saying, what is that notebook you're stamping in? So clearly I have some people who are not experienced stampers and I keep forgetting to mention the Misty. So with a Misty, you open it up, you put the stamp on the clear plastic thing, and then you hold your paper down with magnets because that base is magnetized. There's small magnets, large magnets, and there's a million uses for these. Just look up the Misty, M-I-S-T-I, and there are tons of people that have way more creative uses. I just use it because I can stamp something over and over and over again and get it right, because I'm a terrible stamper. You can also get paper inserts for them. These are little pads, and you can use the grids to help line things up, or you can just tear those off after they get dirty, that kind of thing. I just wipe down the black foam plates with a baby wipe and call it done. So for the circlet cards, I am going to first start by scoring my cardstock. And there's directions on the package. So if you buy these, then the directions tell you it's three and five eighths. And you just do three and five eighths from each side. So you have three panels that make your little trifold brochure style card. So this is gonna go in, you can get a little tiny envelope for it, but I just put them in a regular A2 size envelope. And if it doesn't close completely, you can always shave off a little slice off of one so it tucks in nicely, depending on how perfect your scoring is. So I'm gonna show you how I use the Misty to stamp these. The directions on the package tell you to first stamp the outside image on the front of the card. And I'm gonna start off, of course, with that. I'm gonna use a tone on tone ink because I wanted to see if that would work with these. And I used for this, MFT's Grout Gray ink. And it's a really light ink when you're talking about doing this on a colored cardstock like my Nina Desert Storm, but I can stamp it a couple of different times to get it on here dark enough that I can see it. And I use the Misty Magnet actually to help me line up the, the die that's gonna go on here. Cause I find that dies kind of flip and slide all over the place. But if I put it on top of that magnet, the magnet holds the die to the paper so I can just kind of nudge it around until I'm ready to tape it on with some washi tape. So I've die cut out that front one. You can see how light that line is. I actually recommend not using this for this particular technique and you'll see why in a little bit. I'll talk about that more. But the second one then, normally the instructions tell you to trace the opening that you just die cut and then you can use that to line up the second panel. So if you don't have a Misty, you can follow their instructions. But all I had to do since I have a Misty is to line it up on top of the stamp itself. And I turned it sideways so that it would fit in the platform. This is the larger of the two Misties. And then I've got the center one that's all ready to go. And again, I'm gonna use the magnet to hold the die in place. You can kind of see how it grabs on. It's a really strong magnet but it holds it in place so that while I'm fussing around with it and, and noodling with it, it doesn't go flying all over the place. And then I have two hands free to add my washi tape and then just peel it up from there and run it through my die cutter. And the third panel then, all I have to do is add the stamp on top of the other image so that I get it all lined up, stick it onto the cover and then open the card so that I can stamp this last piece on the inside. So this is just one of the uses for the Misty that is really helpful in making these circlet cards. So if you get any of these stamps and die sets, uh, it's really helpful to be able to use the Misty. You can make a whole bunch of them at once, just make all the fronts, stamp all the fronts and die cut all the fronts, do all the second panels and all the third panels, and then you don't have to keep resetting it up every time. Now my finished cards, what I did was color them in white. 
And that is one of the reasons why I said I, I would probably recommend using a darker color because I had to make up parts of that in order to color that. But it came out really pretty anyway. I think it's super soft. Uh, you'll see more um, carefully more of the image, but one is a sleigh ride, the other is a nativity set, and they're both really sweet. But what I also decided to do was realizing, you know, these are really cute images that could stand alone. There's some of the circlets that couldn't really stand alone. There's just not enough in them. But as tags, these are going to be really cute. So I took out my white pencil, and this is the same process I used for the cards, but I stamped it in darker ink. This one is in craft ink this time. And I used the white pencil to make some of the white, and then I added details in a white pen, which is more intense white. So it's going to give me a little more of a, a bright look to some of the highlights. And what I was doing there with my finger was taking some of that wet ink that I put on with the pen and just kind of brushing across it to blend it a little bit while it was still wet. So again, I can put a, a little star in the middle of this. You can leave space so that on the top, you can write the person's name to and from, or you can just put it on the back of the little tags. But this requires very little coloring. And once you figure out how to color one of them, you could make a whole bunch of any one of these and do them really quickly. They're super easy to do, and they don't require much in terms of supplies. The Desert Storm paper does come in a pack of 25, so you don't have to buy a full ream of it or anything. And it really works nicely for something like this, where you can add just a little bit of white detail onto things. And on this particular one, I'm going to add tree branches with my white pen, just to add a little bit of laciness to it. And look how bright that, that little wreath becomes once I add some of the white pen to it. I'll add a little bit more snow on top of the fence and a few, of course, snowflakes because me and my white pen are inseparable at this time of year. Next up is the little sleigh. And when I was coloring it with the lighter ink, I had a lot of trouble figuring out where all the parts stopped and ended. So that's where I said it was a little challenging to use too light of an ink. And using an ink that's a little bit darker like this works. You could do it in black, but it's a little easier to work with it when you're, you're talking about a tone on tone thing the black is going to be covered by the white pencil in a way that might make the black look like it's going gray in some areas. But when you're working with tone on tone tan colors like this, that works quite nicely to, to mask that effect. The finishing up of my tags was actually a super easy part. I have a couple different circle punches that I used to punch out the circles themselves that I had just colored and then a circle that's a little bit larger. You could also do that with dyes. And I inked the edges with some Lawn Fawn Yeti pigment ink and then put a little string on them. It was really fun to work on both the cards and the tags. And I would highly recommend the process of trying to color with white on a craft paper or on a desert storm like this, because it's just really relaxing. It helps you to focus on just coloring some highlights and keeping it light and easy. I will see you again in another video very, very soon. Take care. I'll talk to you later.